All right, hey, what's up, guys? AT Spectre 8K here, Papa Locket, with my uh, True Draco Cosmo deck profile uh, combo tutorial video. Um, this is like a really nice hand to show off for you guys, so I thought I'd start with this. This is like a really nice combo piece. Um, going second with the deck, you can go first or second. You can take the Pot of Desires out if you'd like to. But uh, let me show you guys how it's done, like uh, the basic premise of the deck. So basically you want diagram and you want some way to pop, but you can work without it. So basically what you do is you activate Trigonic Diagram, and you're going to want to pop off your um, Forerunner first. You want that big ship. So he goes to the graveyard, and then you can search off a um, True Draco card. So it doesn't matter which card you go for really, because you're going to get the pops with Miriam anyway. But um, what I like to do personally actually is if you want to... Um, if you actually want to use Miriam, you can pop off the Cosmo that you'll summon off to Forerunner and go one step further and make this combo ridiculous. Because then you could have a Miriam and you, you you could just go ridiculous if you actually go for the Miriam first. Let me show you that actually. If I can find Miriam in my deck with one hand. <laughs> Found her earlier. Or you don't even need the Miriam actually. You just need a... Um, you can go for the Miriam. Or you can go for the um, Majesties. It really doesn't matter. You can go for either or. Um, so, let me just put all these cards back. So you can go for one or the other. It really doesn't matter if you go for a Miriam or a Majesty's Maiden for this combo. Or you can go for a, like a Spell Trap or you can go for Masterpiece. It really doesn't matter um, which card you go for. It just depends upon which portion of the combo you want to go for. And this is basically the gist of the whole deck that I'll show you. So you can go for Disciples if you want, or you can go for Masterpiece, it really doesn't matter, or you can go for Apocalypse, or whatever. You really don't want to go for Return. Return is the only card that you really don't want to go for. So, uh, for the purposes of this combo video, we're going to go with a, um, we're going to start with a Miriam, because Miriam's easy to pop, um, but they're really interchangeable. Miriam, Majesty's Maiden, Maiden, uh, you, um, you really don't want to have the Miriam in your deck once you pop one, unless uh, you want to bring her back, bring one out with um, Call the Haunted. You really don't want this card in your deck anymore because if they get rid of Diagram, it's a dead card if you pop off the Maiden. So you really want to pop these cards off, so you're going to search out the Miriam, and then you're going to activate Forerunner's Effect. And Forerunner's Effect is going to activate, and you're going to banish him, and you're going to special out a uh, Straw Man. You're going to special out um, Cosmo Straw Man to the field in defense position uh, just in case like um, you get left on the field you really don't want him in attack position starting out your board um, then you're going to activate strawman's effect to pay 500 to special forerunner from your banished zone and his effects are negated and he's going to die in the end phase so you're going to get an additional float if he stays so now what you're going to do is you're going to activate miriam's effect Miriam's effect is going to activate, you're going to pop the one Miriam in your hand and send her to the graveyard, and you're going to send your Cosmo Forerunner to the graveyard to get his effect off early. So then you're going to banish your Forerunner, and you can go into any which card you would like. You can go into um, another Cosmo Straw Man if you'd like, or you can go into a Slip Rider if you're going second to pop any of their monsters. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to go for another uh, Cosmo Straw Man. So you're going to go into Straw Man, you're going to activate, and you're going to bring Forerunner's Effect out again. So now you're going to have a Miriam on the field. You're going to have a Straw Man on board. You're going to have another Straw Man on board. And you're going to have a, a, um, a Cosmo Forerunner on board. And this is going to be your graveyard. This will be where your deck is. So you're going to have these three monsters on the field going second. So now you're going to set up with this and you're going to go and you're going to activate set rotation. Set rotation is going to activate and off of Miriam's effect you also get a search, which is really cool. So you're going to be able to add Majesty's Maiden to hand. Which is very, very nice. Because she's a wor worm wind type monster. She's the only one. And now what you're going to do is you can activate set rotation so you're kind of your diagram is going to die and you're going to be able to set your um true draco any which card you'd like obviously you're going to go for your um cosmo town uh on your opponent's field and you're going to give yourself the dragonic diagram and like i said this 
is basically the gist of all the combos and you can set up your boards and stuff like that. Once you get these combos down of exactly how to play the deck, um, all the other co additional combos are a breeze. So you can activate the, the set rotation and you can put all these cards back, which is very, very nice. And now you can activate Diagram's Effect and pop the Forerunner for the last time. So the Forerunner's gonna die and he's gonna float. And he's gonna go and banish himself for cost again. And he is going to float out into either a sh you can go into a slip rider again to pop your opponent's cards or you can go into a um dark lady for the purposes of this combination video you are going to go for a cosmo tin can on the board is the card that you are going to go for um but you can go for a dark lady for negates or a dark eclipser for um trap negates easily and then you're going to search for your um, trap card. You're going to go for True Draco Apocalypse. Um, or, because, you know, your board's going to be set up. Or if you want to go for game, you can go for a, uh, really quickly, you can go for Disciples, if you'd like. And it'd be a please. Or, what you can do, or again, you can go for True Draco Heritage for the draw power. So we're going to go for True Draco Heritage in this sense. Um, so that's your Banish Zone, that's your Graveyard over there, and this is the cards in hand. So now what you're going to do, is you're going to put, um, Apocalypse back, because you cannot search that card. And you're going to activate True Draco Heritage, which is very, very nice. Because you want the draw power. So what you're going to do is, because you popped a Miriam, you're going to be able to draw one card. So you're going to draw the one card, and so happens to be this. And you can set this face down, and you're going to activate Pot of Desires, because you want to see if you can get a Masterpiece, because we don't have him currently. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're not going to get a Masterpiece here, but if you did, you could go for Ham Combo. So we're just going to give myself the Masterpiece anyway, and do a little Cheaty Cheat. So we're going to banish the return for cost of the card, and you're going to draw your Masterpiece, which you could have searched if you liked, and an additional Terraforming, which is just a broken combo. Oh, uh, this is going to be nuts. Trust me. So now what you're going to do is um, you're going to Tribute Summon, because you haven't Normal Summoned yet, and you're going to Tribute Summon with your um, Chudrico Apocalypse card to tribute um, any which card that you'd like to, to destroy your opponent's monster. You're going to summon out Majesty's Maiden. So now you're going to be able to pop your opponent's card with Chudrico Apocalypse, and you're going to be able to search again. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to activate Returns Effect to um, summon out your Masterpiece, the Chudrico Slaying King, one more time. And you are going to get rid of one of your straw men and send him to the graveyard. In addition to your heritage, you're going to summon out Masterpiece, the True Jekyll Slaying King. Her uh, heritage effect, you can either pop your opponent's card, or in this case, we're going to pop uh, Cosmo Town. And what you're going to do is you're going to search for your, um, your Dark Destroyer. If your opponent has a monster on the field, you can search the Dark Destroyer. Or if your opponent has um, graveyard, uh, a graveyard, you're going to search, like um, a trap card, you think? You're going to search out the Dark Eclipser. This is an OTK second turn combo, basically. And now since you have a straw man in the graveyard, you have a Cosmo card in the graveyard, a Cosmo monster, you have negation for Dark Eclipser's effect. So if you want to pop a monster, you can go for that. We're going to go for Dark Eclipser in this sense. Um, and the reason why you have Tin Can on the field is because of the fact that if... Um, at the end of the phase, if your opponent manages to get rid of all your cards somehow, you ha and except for Tin Can or something like that, you can at least um, play your board back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tag out with my Straw Man, because we already used his effects for the turn, so you don't really need him anymore. And you're going to tag out for your Dark Eclipser. So now this is your board. Miriam, Masterpiece, Dark Eclipser, Tin Can, and Majesty's Maiden. So now what you're going to do is you're going to activate your last copy of Terraforming. And you are going to search out your last copy of Cosmo Town. You really want to get that search off now. Just in case. Now what you're going to do is you're going to enter battle phase. And you're going to activate Masterpiece Effect on your battle phase. Not any close to it because you want your opponent to try and bait, bait him out with anything. And you're going to sacrifice any one of your um, True Draco cards, spell or trap cards. Or any of your... Um, 
any other cards that are continuous, which you don't have any currently, and you're going to pop one of their cards. So now you popped off, like, basically all their board. So say they have one face down card left or whatever, you're going to act, um, first off, you're going to attack, um, you already popped two of their monsters, actually. But, um, just in case, you're going to destroy, like, the last monster or whatever with Majesty's Maiden, attack, and kill it. And now, um, if they activate a trap card, you can chain, um, Dark Eclipser's effect, and you can banish your straw men and negate their trap card, and now they're sitting duck, which is really awesome. So now you can attack for Dark Eclipser, attack with Masterpiece, and attack with Miriam, and that's game. Um, and if it's somehow not game, what you do is you, um, main phase two, you get rid of Diagram, you put Cosmo Town on the board, and you're going to give yourself either a straw man back or a forerunner back. Whatever you prefer. You can take the forerunner back just so that you have a guaranteed card, um, because Tin Can Effect's gonna activate it, or you can bring back the straw man. Um, if this gets popped, you get a search like you saw. So I'm gonna take the straw man back and then chain Tin Can Effect on end phase. And you're going to, in this case, um, because all, most of your cards can float, you're gonna go for Dark Lady, you're gonna go for um, Dark Destroyer, and you're gonna go for Slip Rider. Because you really wanna be pushing for game. You wanna be pushing for game with this deck repeatedly. You wanna be um, bringing out your combo pieces as soon as possible, popping them off with Diagram, or using Tin Can's effect on end phase. You really wanna be doing those things. Reasoning's a great card in the deck, everything. So now your opponent's gonna dice roll. Um, one, they call one, two, three, four, five, six. They get Dark Destroyer. You get Dark Destroyer, or um, say, that you, say you get Slip Rider. You get a pop. So if your opponent's trying to activate a field spell, you can tag out Tin Can and summon out uh, Slip Rider, and that's good. And now you have more negates for Dark Destroyer, Dark Eclipser. So if your opponent tries to activate evenly matched, you can negate it with this too. And you have um, Masterpiece pops. This board is just ridiculous. No, I don't know any deck that can get over it without multiple um, board wipes. So what you can do is Tin Can, you can tag out. If you got your Dark Lady, you, you, now you have a Monster Negate, or you have a Spell and Trap um, Destruction, or you have Monster Destruction and Masterpiece. There's just so many combo pieces that you can use with this deck that is absolutely nuts. So that's just like um, a basic combo that takes a little while. But it's also um, the engine of the deck, which I thought is really prevalent because most people go for um, just regular combos and you have to take the turn to learn the combo. In this video, I'm really teaching you guys the essence of the deck and how the deck really functions together. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, pop it, lock it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.